Okay, so I'm doing a little bit of work on a random wire antenna that I, I stripped off. You can see it here. And I'm going to attach some 14 gauge wire to it. This wire runs all the way back. It's not going to focus, but it runs all the way over to that window up there. And um, it doesn't have a ground right now. So the plan is to run it down to that fence post. Thankfully, this fence goes quite a ways. So I can kind of use this fence as a ground or a uh, counterpoise, kind of both, and hopefully get this bad boy working. So I'm gonna let you know how it goes. This is gonna be a compilation video. Okay, so I ran that wire up inside that little top hat, pushed it down, and hopefully that'll work. All right, so just wanted to give a demonstration here of the difference that the ground makes. It may not actually utilize the entire fence line, but even if it just utilizes that fence post, it's still pretty good as a ground. So here's the SDR play, RSPDX, the little BNC connector. And um, this is the ground wire. So look at what happens on the waterfall when we connect this. You see those signals, they really just jump out. So this really takes us down quite a bit. Let's see where we are without it. Look at all that interference too, it might be from power mains. That signal jumps from barely usable. We're getting like 20 or 30 decibels above the, the background noise at some peaks there, so it's pretty decent. And, um, you know, so that can really make the difference. I, I really underestimated the power of having a nice ground and or counterpoise. So I encourage everyone to do this if you enjoy a short wave listening and give your antenna a ground. And check out uh, HF Underground for some really good tips and tricks on antennas and other hardware.